The American President Barack Obama heads to Africa this week. In Senegal, many are hoping Obama will use the visit to beef up trade relations between Washington and Dakar. Africa's countries are ripe for trade, but the American president might find that China has beaten him to the punch. Arise News' Harry Alsop reports. Since 2000, U.S. trade policy towards Africa has been guided by the African Growth Opportunity Act, or AGOA. The Act, which expires in 2015, waives import duties on goods from many sub-Saharan African countries. But for some, the rules and regulations present a real challenge. In the textile sector, AGOA brings with it a lot of restrictions. Since we signed the agreement, people are always holding meetings left and right, but I believe that we have not been able to do anything real. Obama's administration has been criticised for not doing enough to boost trade with Africa in the face of rising competition from China. After decades of poor performance, Africa is now home to some of the world's fastest growing economies, and China has been trying to lock in access to the continent's huge resources. Many believe that China has become more aggressive than the US about investing in the region, and it would benefit Africa if American investors were more proactive about doing business here. Senegal, as you know, has particular economic relations with the US because Senegal is a stable country, and especially because it is democratic. But it is also a poor and indebted country, and we want to boost our exports. Trade between the US and sub-Saharan Africa reached a record 104 billion US dollars in 2008, but fell sharply during the financial crisis. Many people are optimistic that Obama's visit may provide an antidote to this lagging trade, but he may find he's now playing catch-up with China. Harry Allsop, Arise News.